and uh, the fact that in order for him to stop having this, this uh, crazy, this outrageous, he needs to keep taking it. And they said that if he, if he stays off of it, it'll probably get worse. But my thing is, it has to get worse before it gets good. Yeah. So leave the medication and naturally get better. Otherwise, you're going to spend the rest of your life independent on these drugs. Yeah. And you're going to wind up being a bit a drug addict, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. And, and that's, and that's, yeah, that's, that's this society is like a big drug dealer. Yeah. yeah. This society that we're living in is basically a big drug dealer. All right? And all of us, the people you see walking around, are the drug addicts. Right. And we're addicted to this system, man. We're, we're, we have a, an emotional uh, uh, connection to this system it's flesh, it's and it's everything flesh, in it. And you know, it's sweet. Yeah. The, 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 the whole vibration, the spirit of this place, yeah. it's all addictive. It's all yeah. like a drug. Everybody, everybody from comes all over the world to come to be an addict to this society, to, right. to live this dream. So this, this, this dream to be asleep. Yeah. You know, the society has the intent of killing you. Yeah. Because Some people don't yeah, understand. That's it. Because, I mean, the powers that be, obviously, they're of the nation of Eden, the so-called white man. The Bible tells you about the so-called white man. All right? It tells you on how he's the wicked. Let's get that in Malachi 1 and 4. So if you put a, a nation of people that are, are naturally wicked or evil, what are they going to do? They're going to destroy everything. Right. And they're going to make sure... Because this is how the, the, the this is how the serpent will beguile you easily when you're sick. If you're in full health, how can if your if your brain is, is working in full power, you're gonna see you're, you're gonna see the tricks and the steps. Okay, but if you're sick and you're not fully functioning in the mind, you're gonna be easily beguiled by the by the snares they set up, man. But let's get this stuff. Okay, one four, yeah? Yeah. Malachi chapter one verse four. Whereas in himself we are poverty. But we will return and build the desolate places. Right, and the word either means red. The only race of people on the earth that is red is when you look at so-called white people. All right? They range from like a, 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 a pink. All right? And when you see some of them, they look really red. Like strawberry red. Go on. Thus mm -hmm. saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build. They shall build, but I will throw down. Yeah, go on. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Right, and this was a prophet of God, Malachi. And Malachi was a so-called colored man of the tribes. Because people will actually read the Bible thinking that this is the so-called white, white man's book. But it's not, it ain't got nothing to do with it. But what, what, what has happened is, is Christianity, or the, the makers of Christianity, they put a spin on Christianity to have the people believe that it's, it's superior to look like Edomites. To look like this guy right here. Pick that up, brother, if you don't mind. <laughs> And this is why you got a lot of our people that have this um this white supremacy complex, man. They see a so-called white person, they automatically assume they're people of God. But not understanding because we, we we went to school with these devils. Yeah. Okay? I went to school with these cats, and these guys ain't no people of God, man. Let me tell you that. Alright? They're the most craziest, bugged out people you'll ever meet. In person. Okay, but going back to the point. That's the dragon, or that's the old serpent that's going to deceive the people. Right? Right. And the way that he will deceive the people is by getting them sick so that he can pretty much enforce his philosophies more effectively on you. And bring forth that, that, that agenda of death. Exactly. Death, man. Esau, Esau represents death. Jacob, the children of the Most High, are our people. We represent life. Two opposing forces can't live in the same mountain pool. Right. One is either going to try to destroy the other. Can't coexist. That's why you see Esau is flourishing and maintaining and Jacob is deceasing, man. He's dying. Alright? We're going crazy because we're been in contact with the crazy people. And we've been putting, white people are psychopaths, man. And, and he put a spell on us, too. Right, white people right. are psychopathic people. And we become psychopathic because we've been in contact with them for the past 400, 500 years. We've been affected by their psychopathic nature. Alright? And anyway, going back to... Um, what, 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 what? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy now not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. <coughs> yeah, because cigarettes, even what this guy's holding, this is death, man. Yeah, that Luther's age, yeah, that's, that's, man. 
So can, you, can I see that cigarette back? Yeah, yeah, show the back, show the back cover. Yeah, oh yeah, it's on the front as well. It now. says, yeah. smoking causes mouth and throat cancer. Yeah, see, that's the spirit. Like, look, look, look at this guy's teeth, man. Oh, like, this is somebody's <laughs> mouth, man. <laughs> Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> look at his teeth. Right, what you say, brother? Shag glass teeth. What is going on here? Is this his tongue? Look what happened to his tongue, man. He didn't mind as man. But you know, no, though, no, brother, no, smoking kills. Quit now. But you know, though, brother, could I, could I say something? This is that? death. This is a packet of straight up death, man. They're not God. laughing this. God. They're not God. laughing this. How much did you pay for this? So he's paying. He's paying for <laughs> stuff. Huh? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Eight pounds. You know, you can buy, you can buy jello fries, some God. plantain, God. Yeah. some some beef, and and instead the of this. Or you could, if you want to call yourself, just get some wine, man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's much more healthy than this, man. I agree. Hey, brother, can I say one thing? This is the bin. This is this. Hey, can I say one thing about this? No, you can keep it. I just want to say. <laughs> no, I just want to say one just thing, right? But it just goes to show you. I wish I stop as well. And you I can will. stop. Yeah, I will. Right. And I will. Well, the spirit is on you. You will stop, brother. Yeah, will. But the thing about it is, is that that just goes to show you right there. That the so-called white man, he's the true, he's the true uh, subject, man. Because he will actually, because see, the thing about it is they knew, they know that nicotine's highly addictive. So they'll put it on in front of the box to say, look, quit smoking. But they're not gonna quit smoking because addictive um, nicotine is an is a highly uh, addictive yeah. resource. Yeah, money as well. Okay, and it's money too. So they know the severe power of that, man. So even if you put it in front of their faces and you tell them, look, stop smoking, they're gonna still smoke. And, and, and you know what? I'm thinking in my head, Esau wants to kill people. So why, what, would, why, why, why would he put a cigarette packet that says, smoking kills, quit now? I think because they understand that psychology. Psychology. People, people are dying at yeah, yeah. a much faster rate than they suspected. So they're trying to slow it down a little bit. So by saying, listen, don't do it so much. Calm, calm down. Like, relax. You know? But that, that also appeals to a young mind, a young mind when we were younger. And we wanted to do what the, the, the forbidden. The forbidden is what you want to do because you're you're young and you're exploring everything. So when you see not to do something, you try it just automatically out of curiosity. So that's just uh, as you yeah. said, that's psychology that they're using yeah, that's, there. Yeah, that's what that is. Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Yeah, yeah. Levi. 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 Um. This is like a layout. Levi are like the priests, the priests of the nation of Israel. They're the ones that did the sacrificing and did any killing, say if, say if anybody committed murder. They, they'd be the ones you'd have to go to to find out what to do concerning the law, concerning sacrifices or anything to do with the temple. Okay? Or with the Most High, he did, you'd have to go to the Levites. And the Levites, they didn't have a portion in the land. They lived among the tribes, that. Like. And you see this, right? You see Asher, Naphtali, Zebulon, right? Manasseh, Gad, right? And this is Judah, right? Judah. Um, all right? It was Ephraim, Simeon, yeah? It's a car, but you don't see Levi. Levi is not here because Levi is among them. They're the priests, so they're they meant to live among the tribes. All right, around the suburbs. Yeah, the suburbs. Yeah. Right. So they had a very important role, the Levites. And the Levites were like so called blacks, man. Us. They're really the Haitian people of today. Yeah, the Haitians. Yeah. Okay. See, the West Africans, they're a very special people, very special people, but they don't know it. And they've been taught to think that they're Africans. The West Africans. Yeah. They've been taught to think that they're indigenous to that land. And they're not. They're not indigenous. They're the West African, the Bantu, Congo, and, you know, Igbo, Yoruba. Ivory Coast. Yeah, they have to understand that you migrated 
call this land the Holy Land. You don't call yourself, you don't call yourselves Ivory Coast people and Congolese people and and, and Gambians. Liberians. Yeah. These are all labels. All right. Once upon a, you didn't even speak the languages that you're speaking now. Now where are you from? Nigeria. What part of Nigeria? Igbo. You're an Igbo man. Okay, so you're a Hebrew man. Yeah, the word Igbo simply means Hebrew. All right. So now my my dad he's from um Idoma. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. So um, but anyway. You migrated from this land. This land was the land that the Moabites told Abraham: look north, south, east, and west. Your seed, your children, will inherit this land. All right. Abraham, he was he came from Ur of the Chaldees. That's where him and his father dwelt. All right. And then when his father passed, the Moabites told Abraham to go to Padanaram, this region. The land of Canaan, basically, around this, this place here, all right? And that's what the most I said, listen, your seed is going to inherit this land. Isaac, all right, and then on to Jacob. Jacob went down to Egypt, all right? And that's where the first captivity of our people, all 12 tribes, our people, the people of Sudan, the Dinkum, the tall ones with the, the um, long arms, and they got the tribal marks, those are the Egyptians. Those are the real Egyptians. Those are the real ones. The two ones, the ones with the, the hieroglyphics. See what the white man did, what Esau did. You know, the fact that the white man uh, uh, conquered the Egyptians. You know about that, right? What he did, he, li he lightened up the images. Like he lightened them up. He made them look kind of brownish, but these are real dark. They're tall. The long arms, those are the real Egyptians. The people of, of, of Sudan, the Dinka people. Alright? We're not related to them. Those are like Hamites. You get the, um, the children the, of Ham. The, um, we come from Shem. We come from Shem. The Hebrews, the, the Arabs, us, um, the Chinese, the Japanese, the East Indians, they come from Shem. They're Shemitic peoples. Right? That's right. And Somalians, the Eritreans, the, um, the Ethiopians, the Namibians, all right, the, the, some of the houses, those, those are Hamites. All right, Canaanites, the, the Egyptians, those are Hamite people. Hamitic people, the children of Ham, are Ham, Shem, and Jephthah. The three sons of who? Noah. Go on, go on. It's a Bible, it's a, it's like a, it's a compact Bible dictionary. Jewish people wrote this, so what? Now you look up the word Ham on page 213. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. The youngest son of Noah, Ham, you ever born probably about 96 years before the flood. 96 years before the flood. So, but that's young. Yeah. 96 years, that's a young, he's, he's too young. Back then, now he, he'd be fucking... Yeah, he's old, he old. <laughs> oh, he'd be old, he look old. Why he about to die? Yeah. But back then, he's still, he's still young. Because back in the ancient world, during that time, Very young. men lived to like almost a thousand years old, if exactly. you can believe that. Was a young, he was a young man, he was a young yeah. man. He probably looked like my odd. Like, like his around his like over the age, like age, if you know what I'm saying. Come on, come on. You're the same. Because 500 years, that would be like middle age. He'd be middle age if he was 500 years old. Why did they look so long? Wow. All right. We're going 96 years before the flood. Went. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the regenerator, right. which means father, of the dark races. He became bad, bro. Not the Negroes. Not the Negroes, bro. But the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Kenyanites. Right? So Ham, he was the father of the Sudanese, of the, the Namibians, yeah. all of them, them indigenous people of Africa. 
the Somali, the actual Somalians, the, yeah, those East Africans, yeah. So, but he was a dark skinned man. Ham was a dark skinned man. Oh, he was. You weren't, you weren't no black like, white man, you know, nothing like that. A dark skinned melanated man. Which means Shem and Jeffrey had to be dark skinned melanated. Mm -hmm. Which means that Noah was dark. a dark skinned melanated man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So and we, they, we And the other one was his first son. What, was it, uh, what did you call the name? I think um, no. it was Jeff, uh, so uh, Jeffrey was the oldest dude. And then Shem was the second. And then um, Ham was the youngest. I would have loved to. Where can I get this book? Oh, this book? The Bible. The Bible dictionary. You're going to have to turn on the flip side now. You know what? Yeah. I'll write it down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to understand, yeah? I can see your book from the back to go. Is that the Hamites in the kingdom to come, as we preach the gospel, the truth of the gospel, right? We're going to inherit the kingdom to come, the, the everlasting kingdom, the righteous kingdom of our people. But all the other nations are going to be bowing down to us in that kingdom. Forever slaves. They're going to be slaves in that kingdom. Our kingdom of heaven is not for everybody. Because the churches tell you different. They tell you that kingdom is for everybody, anybody that believes. It doesn't matter your nation. That's the churches, because that's to understand, that's the slavery, the white man's religion, the church. You have to understand that. That's, it came from this. That's why if you go to um, Lagos, and there's a church, there's a Roman Catholic church there, and they see a big statue of white Jesus. I've been to I went to one of the Roman Catholic church, and they, they, that's, what, that, that's what they've been trained to believe. God loves everybody. Um, this is um, Isaiah 40, verse 17. It says, All nations will form as nothing, and that they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. Right. So the scripture said, Isaiah said, All the nations, they're nothing. Oh, verse 15. Verse 15. It says, Behold, the nations are as the drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the hours as a very little thing. Right. And you know it too, brother, before you have it. But before you go as well, what you gotta do is this. Um, if you gotta come, you gotta come, you have to repent and come back to the, the righteousness of the most high. Because what's gonna happen is, is there's gonna be great destruction coming down on the planet. Are you, are you familiar with what's going on around the world, like the, the incoming war, like with Syria, Iran? Are you you're aware of that? Yeah. War fighting everywhere. Yeah, but what, I, what I'm saying to you, okay. brother, is, is that you have to repent and come back to the Lord because if you don't, the most is going to pretty much destroy those that don't believe in this thing or don't, don't believe in Him. Because we're pretty much the representatives of the most high. All right, the most high said He would set up judges in the last days. Okay, give me, somebody give me Isaiah 1 and 26. Because we're not only teachers, but we're also preachers as well. So we have a, we have a dual job. Say as a one in twenty six. I feel comfortable with you guys. As far as I see, you're reading the Bible. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. That's it. That's what it's all about. Because you got people coming with all kind of different doctrines and stuff going, brother. I don't. Read, 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 and listen to you more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so uh, one verse 26, and I will restore thy judges as at the first. Right, and he's already done that already. Because when you look at all of the Hebrews like camps around the world, especially in Great in uh, Great Millstone, we're teaching the same thing. We're teaching the um, what is it, the end of this this um, this revival of ancient Rome. Because we're living in the Roman Empire. If you if you know that and you don't know that, okay? And what we're teaching is what we're teaching and preaching is that this society is gonna go through a nuclear destruction. And there's gonna be a lot of death out here because they because they disbelieve in the power that created them. And they fell to hearken to his ways. So that's the reason why. But those that believe in his name in truth and sincerity, because I'm even going as far as saying this, brother. I'm even going as far as telling you, those those pastors in those churches and the people that go to those churches, they don't truly believe in the Lord. They believe in him because of according to tradition. But the scripture says to worship him in spirit and truth. So, so give me that. And that counsel is at the beginning 
often with thou shalt be called the city of righteousness. Right, because you have certain you have certain men that are set up to, to prophesy or to teach. And there's certain prophets that were not set but the ground anyway. Give me Revelations uh, 21 and 8. Yeah. Yeah, one more scripture then you can go. Revelation 21 verse 8. But the fifth one on this one. It was the the um but the fifth word of believing, the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters right. and all liars yep. shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, right. which is the second death. Right, and that's the second nuclear death. destruction. That's the lake of fire. All right, but if you believe in this thing and you come repent, hey, the most side will take care of you. Right? Even even do your darkest hours you take care of you. So that's that's my message to you, my man. That's all I gotta say. Alright man. Take care of yourself. Yeah, so you know that's just how it is, man. You know, we have to all we I mean we teach our people who they are, but we also have to go into the judgment side of things because it's always a flip side to the point. And it balanced things out anyway. But yeah, man, um, you know, like the brother was saying, you know, we live in a society that pushes nothing but death, man. All around. It's just nothing but death. Okay, like the brother, he came up here, man, with a with a with a with a pack of cities. Damn near spit ten ten print on that. Mm. He could have bought something else with that. He could buy a lot with ten pounds, man. Mm. You know what I mean? But he spent ten pounds just so he can get high. Mm. And what's and I mean and what what does the cigarette benefit you? It doesn't benefit nothing. The only thing it's doing is just destroying your lungs, it's destroying your insides, and it's causing cancer. That's all it does. Instant gratification. It gives, it gives that, that moment of pleasure. You know that, that, that moment of stress free. Yeah. But what is it doing for you in the long term? It's destroying you. It's fucking up the insides to the point where your teeth is gonna wind up looking like that image on the packet, man. Exactly. Exactly. So that's that's exactly what the, the, the powers that be want, or the elites. You could call the call them the Illuminati ones or the Illuminated ones. You call call them whatever you want. But we all know that the um, the agenda is is just to kill people, to make sure that people are, are killed in a, in a spiritual sense. <coughs> because like I said earlier before, if you have a group of people that are sick in the head psychologically and physically. How can they fight against the powers that be if they wanted to? Exactly. It's not possible. It's impossible. And why would they want to fight against a society when they're addicted to it? Yeah. Like you're not gonna to want to destroy drugs if you, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, if your whole body yearns for it, man. Yeah. If you, if you, if you've been um, um, benefiting from it, man, huh. to some, to some type of pleasurable level, man. Okay. Why would you want to destroy it? It's almost like you feel like your life depends on it. That's what I'm trying to say, our people who trust in Egypt. I told you that in, 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 in front of the game. Yeah, they stay a little, they, 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 uh, they trust in oppression, right? Something like that. Uh, see this one? Hold on. I think it's this one. Isaiah 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children saith the Lord that take counsel but not of me oh, oh. right so how do you take counsel by coming up here in fact let me get you through that there's a scripture uh, I'm gonna start speaking as well let me get you through that I'll just come down So why the brothers looking for that, man? Um, yeah, it's true. I mean, if you have a lot of people that are sick in the head and can't really stand up right, can't really hold a proper conversation right, how in the hell are these people gonna take down any any powers that be? It's not possible, man. You know what I'm saying? So they've they've done their job. Mm. The ones that control the media, the the the, uh, the the TV programs, which they call the programs, so they can program your mind, right? And while they're programming your mind, they're pretty much creating you 
to be exactly what they want you to be. Instead of you thinking for yourselves. Okay? And people that begin, like the brother was saying, people are beginning to, to um, you know, be addicted to that. Being addicted to being told what to do. When everybody has a brain inside of this storm, and it can judge matters for themselves. Right? And I'm not saying that you're supposed to be um, no order, because there is an order to everything. You need order in government. There's nothing wrong with government, but the government that we're under is not the government of righteousness. Okay? So you found it, yeah? Yeah. Because what you gotta understand, there's a, there's another government coming in effect, and the, and the government that's coming next is a man by the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ. A so-called black man who the world um, has a disdain for, man. He's going to come in and, and set the record straight on the earth. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get me a scripture. I'm going to read um, Isaiah 40, verse, um, let me see something real quick. Right, you know, I'm going to read, um, I'm going to read this right here. This is on Isaiah 40, verse 10. It says, Behold, the Howard will come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. And behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him, and he shall feed his flock like a shepherd, and he shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with the young, who have measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and um, meted out the heavens with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed mountains and scale in the hills and the balances. Who have directed the spirit of the Lord or being his counselor have taught him. All right? With whom he, with whom he, with whom took he counsel and whom instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge and showed to him the way of understanding. All right, and as a whole, that's talking about the nation of Israel. Because you have a, a, a group of people, or a part of the elect, amongst that people that was given the understanding. And Yahweh Shai, the Lord and Savior, was a man of that great understanding. So that, that man that was pretty much born of the understanding, and certain ones of those men, which are the elect, that was given that understanding, they're going to use that same wisdom which comes from the scriptures to set the kingdom up. And that's when the righteous government is going to be in effect. Okay? But before that happens, this society is going to be destroyed and the elect, they're going to be delivered and saved. Okay? And then they're going to come back down here and set the right order. Alright? So I'm going to read that again. Um, verse 11, it says, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, and he shall gather the lambs with the lambs. Alright? With his arm and carry them in his bosom, and he shall just eat those that are with the young. So let's get Ezekiel 34 and 23. Ezekiel 34 and uh, 23. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. So that was talking about David. And it says, He shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. And I the Lord will be their power and my servant David the Prince amongst them. And I the Lord have spoken. So there's going to be an order. In, there's, going to come, there's going to be a complete perfect order in the kingdom. Alright? And you're going to have Yahweh Shah. And then you're going to have the, uh, King David. And you know, the um, what is it? The, um, the apostles. And the different levels of teachers within that order. And that's going to be 
the foundational order, y'all, what is it? Right, the foundation of Israel, the government. 